um, there will be there will be guardrails. Um, so that would be one question. Am I the kind of person who can operate within uh, a framework and express my creativity that way? Or, or maybe am I looking for more personal expression? Um, another thing would be how, how curious am I? Am I a naturally curious person who wants to know why this works that way and why a person thinks that way and why this button is in this corner and not that corner? If you find yourself just in that space of curiosity, that's going to serve you well. If you're somebody who, who is looking more for uh, concrete things and um, a, a more rigid framework, then perhaps design isn't the best fit for you. That doesn't mean the tech isn't for you. You could be an extraordinary coder. You could be an extraordinary data scientist. But I would say that the students who are most successful in design are the ones who are able to let go of the concept that there's a right answer mm. or able to let go of the concept that something has to be finished mm. because it, it's it's never going to be finished. There's always another iteration. There's always an update in the in the app store, you know. Right. Um, so if you can if you can live with that kind of ambiguity, then you can roll with being a designer. So I would start there rather than wondering, do I have the technical skills? We can we can teach anybody technical skills. Everybody knows how to use a computer a little bit. Um, and so we can we can help you learn. That's our job as instructors. The question right. is, are you coming in with the right, you know, the right framework, the right yeah. worldview? And as long as you've got a growth mindset, as long as you're willing to say, wow, I drew that and it sucks. I am not a great artist yet. As long as mm. you're able to say yet and dust yourself off and sharpen that pencil and get back to it, you're you're probably your odds are better than average.